We're going to look at Psalm 143 briefly today. Just begin by reading it through. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground, he hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee, as a thirsty land, Selah. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth, hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble, and of thy mercy cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. So this is a this is a prayer and this is a, a heart cry from a, a Psalm of David, somebody that that is asking and, and trusting God for help, which is which is what we, we all should do, knowing that, as it says in verse 7, without God's help, we'll be in a pit. And as verse 11 says, for thy name's sake, for God's glory, may we ask for his help, for, for his glory ultimately. So I'm just going to highlight some things about what do we learn about God as we read this and I think it's very important and very encouraging to see here that things are not of ourselves but they are of God verse 2 enter not into judgment with thy servant for in thy sight shall no man living be justified I can't be justified if God just looks at me and if he looks at me and he sees Jesus blood that has washed away my sins and that Jesus, he rose again, he didn't stay in the grave. He is our justifier. So I hope that you are, have been justified by Jesus Christ today, that you have personally placed your faith in him and trusted in him to forgive your sins today. But what do we learn about God? In verse 1 it says, Hear my prayer, O Lord. God is... God is able to hear us. It says, in thy faithfulness, answer me. God is faithful. And in thy righteousness, God is righteous. And verse 2, in thy sight shall no man living be justified. God is our justifier. Verse 5 it says, I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. God has he's proved himself in the past already. It's, it can be encouraging to think on all that you may have already seen God do in your life and in the lives of others as well. Verse 8, cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, in the start of the day. God is full of loving kindness. It says, in thee do I trust. God is trustworthy. Cause me to know wherein I should walk. God is guide. Verse 9, deliver me, O Lord. God is deliverer. I flee unto thee to hide me. God is protector. 
Verse 10, teach me to do thy will. God is teacher. Thou art my God, thy, thy spirit is good. God is good. <laughs> Lead me into the land of uprightness. God is upright. Verse 11, quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. God is life giver and reviver. He's the one that gives us life. Christ is life. Thy righteousness sake, for thy righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. God is rescuer. And for his glory. Amen. Verse 12. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am a servant. God is merciful. So I'll just read the full list again. What do we learn about God from this heart cry prayer from Psalm 143? We learn that God is able to hear us. God is faithful. God is righteous. God is justifier. God has proved himself in the past. God is full of loving kindness. God is trustworthy. God is guide. God is deliverer. God is protector. God is teacher. God is good. God is upright. God is life giver and reviver. God is rescuer. And God is merciful. Amen.